Dr. Shabir, 2020, it's, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're approaching the beginning of the new year. It's a time to reflect on the past decade because it's, you know, not just a new year, but a new decade and also to think about the future. So what do you think are some of the flashpoints or major incidents or major things that happened in the last decade? Uh, the last decade actually was uh, a turning point uh, in, in our history. It, it, it is the teenage years uh, of, of the 21st <laughs> century, right? And um, in, in, from 2010 onwards, we have noticed several things. In terms of social media, which affects all of us, we've had the rise of Facebook, of Twitter, and Instagram. Um, there have been the, the proliferation of apps. There's now an app for everything. There's even an app for uh, checking to see how much time you've spent using apps. <laughs> <laughs> so um, apps are now uh, the, the thing. They, 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 we, we use them to get better at things or to do things efficiently, but they're also controlling us uh, to a large extent. Uh, so, you know, pe people go to the bed to bed with their phones and mm -hmm. they're checking the phones last thing. And then early in the morning, the first thing they do is check the phones again. Uh, so uh, th th this has been a major change in, in the lives of human beings. Uh, in in, uh, in terms of uh, world politics, we, we see that uh, there has been the uh, Arab Spring mm -hmm. and uh, also the fall of the Arab Spring that uh, um, occurred within the, the last uh, decade. In, um, in U.S. politics, we've had seven of Obama's eight years occurring within the last uh, decade. And that was something new in America that uh, suddenly we had a uh, person of color who um, is in the White House. And um, we, we've seen also changes in that um, in the, the last uh, presidential elections in the United States, a woman ran for president and almost won. Mm -hmm. uh, we're now seeing the impeachment proceed proceedings against uh, um, the current president. And uh, that, that shows the, the way in which uh, uh, in, uh, people are taking control of, uh, uh, of their uh, future and uh, the democracy uh, you know, is slow in, in coming, but, but it happens. Uh, it works in, in the long run. Uh, we're seeing changes uh, in, in the Muslim world as, as we look forward, but also as we look back. Uh, in, in Saudi Arabia, they have been um, uh, religious uh, changes. Uh, they, uh, Friday used to be a working holiday. Uh, but uh, in order to keep up with uh, the other Gulf countries, uh, the, uh, the holiday was changed to, to be uh, like the weekend would be mm -hmm. Saturday and Sunday rather than uh, starting with uh, with the Friday. Uh, and. Um, the, or, or it still starts with Friday, but uh, I'm a little unclear about that now. But I know that there has been a major shift mm -hmm. uh, in, in Saudi Arabia regarding the, the, the start of the weekend. There have also been some other. reforms as well in terms of women's rights. Uh, true. Uh, women were suddenly uh, given the right to drive uh, automobiles, which is uh, a new and welcome thing. Uh, but uh, some changes uh, also um, co are a cause for concern. Uh, the sudden introduction of... Uh, some uh, modes of entertainment uh, in, into the kingdom, um, for example. And now recently there's been the uh, wide open uh, electronic visas being uh, issued uh, to the extent that uh, somebody cynically remarked that, uh, you know, if you're having difficulty applying for your uh, visa to visit the sacred sites. Just say you're going to a concert and you get your visa in three seconds online. Uh, but more recently, uh, even uh, you know a more general sort of visa, uh, a general sort of visa is issued that allows a person to go in and perform uh, even the sacred uh, rites. So uh, things are opening up and uh, looking into the future a little bit. Uh, there, the, there is the vision of 2030. Uh, which is uh, going to take the next couple of decades to be completed, but we see the 2030 vision uh, being worked up towards, and uh, um, th there is work going up towards it, and, and we can see the trends and, and developments that are going uh, in that direction. One of the troubling features uh, of, of this is the uh, jailing and even the execution uh, of uh, Muslim scholars who might uh, be 
considered dissenters from uh, the the popular trend or or the ruling authorities. Mm -hmm. and, and it's not only in one particular country. This is happening in a lot of places, and obviously, uh, this is a cause for concern. Mm -hmm. Humanitarian crises. We have seen the humanitarian crisis uh, arising in Syria, in Darfur, in uh, so many parts of the world. We've seen uh, increasing encroachments uh, on the rights of Palestinians, the expansion uh, of uh, settlements into um, the West Bank, and recently the surprising announcement uh, in the United States that uh, these uh, settlements should now be deemed legal, contrary to like 40 years of, uh, of rulings from the United States itself, and contrary to what is known to be international uh, law. And uh, uh, we, we are seeing some um, uh, disturbing um, results of climate change uh, predictions. Uh, so the, uh, we, we are seeing that... Uh, it's a crisis. This is, it's you know, a crisis. It's an emergency now. It, it's yeah. such an emergency that uh, um, climate change scientists are, are even asking whether it is uh, uh, morally right to uh, even bring children into, into this world. And, and so looking into our future, uh, means looking back at the past, looking at the past decade and uh, especially, and, and asking what can we do as human individuals to better our own lives and to uh, make the world a better place for our future generations. Mm -hmm. Of course, in Canada, there's also another big issue, the rise of the far right which we've seen in the past uh, several years. Um, so, and then on, on the other hand, there are social justice activists who are fighting against that. So there's a polarization between the two groups now in Canada. Um, and, and of course, that's also in the United States as well and, and in parts of Europe. Yes, uh, and, and of course, uh, uh, with the rise of the far right, uh, we are um, uh, seeing the, the, uh, some um, disturbing outcomes. Uh, one of the issues that Muslims are reeling from uh, is the 2017 uh, shooting in a Quebec mosque where six persons were gunned down, mm -hmm. uh, killed, um, when they were in the safety of their mosque. And it means for Muslims that our mosques are, are no longer uh, safe havens for us to come in and peacefully worship uh, God. Um, uh, so, so this is a disturbing new trend. And of mm -hmm. course, uh, we um, are reeling from uh, acts of terrorism worldwide. Uh, and and we, 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 as Muslims, uh, over the last decade, have done a lot to try and uh, curb extremist and hate preaching, even with our, within our own circles. We've done a lot to de-radicalize some of our youth. And uh, we are, are looking at uh, the global trend for the future to, with the fall of ISIS. Uh, within the last decade, uh, we hope that uh, such a monster does not uh, come back into our world and that uh, our world would be a better and safer place for the future. Mm -hmm. We're running out of time now, but what would you suggest for the future? I mean, we've talked about a lot of things. How do you move forward with all that baggage? Well, uh, for, for most of our viewers, it comes down to our individual person. Like, what do we do as individuals? Uh, we're looking into the next decade, but who knows if we will live to the end of the next decade. Uh, over the last decade, we have seen some important uh, persons passing away. Neil Armstrong, who uh, went on Apollo 11 and uh, uh, declared uh, a small step for man, a giant leap for humankind. And uh, uh, he passed away. One of the greatest uh, minds, uh, the astrophysicist, the mathematician, uh, Stephen Hawking passed away. Um, so whether scientists or even musicians, Canada was uh, shocked at the passing away of uh, Gord uh, Howie, Gord, Gord Downey. I, I don't know his name exactly now, but, but, but that was a moment for Canada to reflect on um, who we are as individuals, as human beings. Our lives are fra fragile, and we will pass away from this world. It may be in the next decade, it could be in the next year, and God uh, save us uh, and, and protect us and guide us. We need to live the remaining days uh, and minutes and hours of our lives in a way that is pleasing to God, that is helpful to humanity, and that is uh, uh, of service uh, to uh, everyone and everything around us. Thank you for that, Dr. Shibri. And of course, the passage, pass passage of time and, and you know these milestones kind of make us uh, stop and reflect and think and, and, and figure out what our priorities should be. So, you know, Happy New Year to you and, and, and hopefully it will be a good year. Happy New Year to you too and to our viewers.